Hi, good afternoon. Welcome to Business. My name is Daryl Kwao. Finance Minister Ken Ofoyata has justified proposed revenue measures outlined in the 2022 budget, insisting they are needed to stabilize the economy and deal with high infrastructure deficit. He has been speaking at the PricewaterhouseCoopers post-budget review engagement. George Affis report. The Finance Minister's assurance is coming on the back of push for the tax to be scrapped, as well as threat of voting against the levy from the minority in Parliament. But Mr. Kenufriata noted that the only way out now is to review the way the tax could be applied, like the e-levy. The, the challenge, as I see it really, is that we are at a, at a crossroads uh, of the development of our country. And um, we need to truly internalize you know, where we are in, in our history and understand uh, the intractable problems that we need to tackle in the post-COVID, um, giving us an opportunity to reassess uh, who we are, our sort of common humanity, and address the three fundamental issues of um, youth un unemployment, um, the issues um, of, of our infrastructure, uh, and the issues of our debt, uh, which in a sense also impacts um, our ability to go to international capital markets. Speaking to Joy Business after the engagement, country partners, Prior to House Coopers, Vish Ashagba described the 2022 budget as very aggressive in terms of government measures outlined to hit the fiscal targets. We believe that the budget uh, is ambitious and we also believe it has to be because, uh, as you will know, George, the economic indicators currently are in a difficult place. And for us to get out of those difficulties and to put the economy on a stronger footing, we need to be ambitious. So um, the revenue targets are ambitious. We think they have to be, and we think it's a good thing that they are. The expenditure estimates are reasonable, um, at least in relation to um, previous um, previous budgets or previous actual expenses. Yes, there's always work one could do um, on expenditure, um, but then there are social interventions focusing on job creation, focusing on entrepreneurship, and bringing in private sector in different forms to support the implementation. Local tax partner PricewaterhouseCoopers Ashabedwebe noted that most businesses still want some clarity on the e-levy proposed in the 2022 budget. As businesses, we've seen so many instances where proposals are put forward or actually passed through as law, but the implementation is just done so poorly that it actually costs more money, more inconvenience, and results in lots of audits and a lot of administrative hassle for the businesses. So they are concerned because they just want to know and be assured that this time it will be different. And so that is why we as PwC are very eager that certain key positions in the budget, particularly the e-levy, and um, the implementation of the modified tax system and the VAT flat rate scheme are implemented very clearly and transparently and that it's very easy to understand for the taxpayer because a good tax, tax system has to be easy to understand to make it easy to comply otherwise people won't comply and so that's that's really where the pulse is people are concerned and just want to see effective implementation this time to avoid previous administrative hassles the chief executive of the ghana association of bankers john Ewa, during the program argued that the time has come for local businesses and entrepreneurs to be supported not just by government but the larger population as well the program brought together players in the banking industry and the academia to deliberate on policy measures outlined in the 2022 budget.